Mariah Carey has been accused of sexual harassment by her former security guard. Now, uh, Michael Anello, who is the CEO of Los Angeles based Anello Security and Consulting, is actually threatening to sue Carey for unpaid bills in excess of $220,000 for work undertaken between June 2015 and May 2017. Further, a draft lawsuit that was obtained by TMZ, prepared by Anello's lawyer, alleges sexual and verbal harassment, including calling him a skinhead, uh, among other slurs. He alleges on one occasion, Person who's yeah. you know perpetrating allegedly this sexual harassment. Yeah, I think some of the claims are going to need to be a little bit more specific. Mariah Carey is always in a negligee. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I've never not. That was he watched her music video. <laughs> yeah, like, I've never not seen her uh, almost naked. So uh, you know, it, it's probably also the laziest sexual harassment that I've that based on her performances. It's gotta be <laughs> really bad. But yeah, again. Harassment of any form has to be taken seriously. Folks need to come forward. Yes, I, I agree with you guys, right? Like, it's very important to recognize that sexual harassment and sexual abuse happens to men, too. And I think that is an important sort of uh, nuance to a lot of the allegations that we're seeing in the media right now. Uh, that said, black guys and not white people. First of all, Reverse racism, not a thing. Okay, so that's like the first thing. Not I never a thing. understand that. I've, I've, I've never. I don't understand what that means. Like, what does reverse racism, not a thing, mean? Yeah. So when you were talking about like an in ism, right? Okay. So like sexism, racism, whatever it is, mm -hmm. you're looking at intentionally making you feel awkward mm -hmm. and powerless mm -hmm. when she's making you come in and take her, her luggage away when you obviously have said that this makes you feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. and it's not part of your job and it shouldn't be part of your job. Right, and right. No, and things. I agree with you. And, and there, there's other <laughs> allegations that, that I read and from different sources, uh -huh. one of which saying uh, that she was partaking in, in sexual activity with somebody and he was felt like she was making sure that he witnessed it. Yeah, that's crazy. I, yeah. Well, I, I mean, who, you're also a security guard. And if you're standing outside of a room or standing outside of somewhere to protect somebody, I don't know. I don't know where the lines are. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know what happened, right? Because this is all just sort of coming out right now. And so I think there's yeah. a lot that we still need to look into. Yeah. That said, I think this is an important story um, because sexual harassment obviously can can happen to men too, as we've seen uh, in, in, in the Kevin. 15 and I, years ago. And I think that's really important to, to kind of piggyback off what you're saying and, and to, to address what you said, Ampria, is I do think that it's really important to really define what sexual harassment is, what sexual abuse is, um, and sexual assault and all of those things. Because even though we shouldn't have to, like we should know what this looks like, I think right now it does seem like a little bit nebulous. And we don't know how to do it in sort of different scenarios when it's the interpersonal and you have business sort of mixing yeah. or you're doing late night deliveries and you don't know how to interpret text or whatever it may be, mm -hmm. there is a lot, uh, I think there's a lot of confusion. And even though maybe there shouldn't be, I still think that it exists. And so let's define it, you know what I mean? Break it down to like, this is this is every little thing right here is considered <laughs> sexual harassment. This is sexual harassment. Like, oh, you're harassing people? I'm not gonna watch House of Cards. I mean, right. having, you know, having a platform so. makes a huge deal. Similar to that, I talked to a producer who's been in the town for probably 30, 30 years. And he said that he thinks it's because the insurance companies are like, we're not yeah, gonna pay these we, settlements anymore. Yeah, like, it's all about profit. People are getting better at it. Uh, you know, the, the people who you've been able to scare into submission for so long are not as frightened anymore. They're going to tell on you and they're going to have a good case because everything 